Welcome to Fitness for Newbies. My name is Jay. Today we're talking about crunches. Now I'm sure it's something you've seen or done or tried in the past, um, but today we're going to just talk a bit more in depth about um, types of crunches. Obviously, what you can, what you can do, how to do them safely, um, and trying to get a stronger core in general. Um, the core is incredibly important for all of your strength basically it's it's the it's your middle it's your core it's your um it's almost like your base to build off um if you have a strong core it's going to make all your other strength work slightly easier you're going to be able to and when you can control your core well um you can contract it at the right times on the right lifts um it will make everything a lot easier and you can focus on other things when it becomes almost like a second nature and uh, you don't even have to think about it. So different types of crunches. So this one here is your basic crunch. Um, it doesn't particularly matter where you put your arms as long as you're not using your arms to swing yourself up. A crunch is actually really really simple. It is simply using your core to pull your shoulder blades off the ground. That is it. It is. It really is as simple as that. Um, there's a couple of other little details. Number one um, is always try and keep a gap between your chin and your chest. You don't want to be using, almost using your neck to pull you up. That hurts. When I first started doing crunches on um, year, well, I had done them before, but a year or so ago when I started doing this, I was really guilty of that, and it will very quickly screw your neck up. Um, so if you have a tennis ball or an apple or something around that size, stick it under your chin and just hold it there. That will stop you yanks, almost yanking your body up with your neck and your head um, when it should be the contraction of your core that brings your shoulder blades off the ground. That is really about it. Um, your hands can go wherever really they're comfortable. Um, if you hang them across your chest, by your head, by your sides, doesn't really matter. Um, as long as you're getting in, you'll know when you're doing it properly because it will start to hurt. Um, so have a little play around with it. Don't um, over stress yourself if it starts, you know, hurting, then stop. Again, it's supposed to be fun, it's supposed to be enjoyable. So these are the different types of crunch. You have your basic crunch. So feet on the floor, you can also have your feet out straight. Um, whatever happens, try and keep your lower back on the floor. You do not want that to round. Um, and that goes for pretty much every crunch, I think, that I can think of. So lower, lower back on the ground and squeeze with your abs to pull your shoulder blades off the floor. Next up, lift your feet off the floor. You'll very quickly realise these get hard quickly um, or harder quickly. Um, so with your feet off the ground, you don't, you'll unconsciously sort of use them when your feet are on the floor in a crunch. When they're off the ground, you've got no choice. It's your abs to pull your shoulder blades up. That is it. Remember, don't use your neck. Contract your core to pull your shoulder blades off the ground. Next up, we're going to be kicking our legs out. So as if you're riding a bike or running, uh, those of you who know where I'm going, shush. This time, you'll stay with your shoulder blades raised off the ground and you're going to just kick your legs out, forward and back, in a bicycle motion. Okay? Or, I don't know, do you ride a bike? I mean, ride a bike like that, don't you? Anyway, let's pretend that's how you ride a bike. Stairmaster. Yeah, you use a Stairmaster motion. And finally, the bane of my existence, the bicycle crunch. Um, when I first started doing these, I could probably do about four. And so I left them. I didn't bother doing them. Um, it's too hard, I'm not going to be able to do that, so I'll stay with my normal crunches, my side crunches, um, all the ones you've seen basically. But from doing that, I then had another go at them about six months later, and guess what? I could do 20. 
and I was so happy. Um, so if I could give you a, what's the word? Um, if I could draw on my experience, I'd say if there is something that is just too hard and you try and do it and you're like, oh, I can't do that, I'm never gonna be able to do that. Just leave it, leave it, focus on the things you can do, do them properly, do them safely, do them effectively. And guess what, when you go back to it, you'll be able to do it. Case in point, um, pull-ups. I can't, I still can't do a pull-up. It is eating me alive in the nicest possible way. However, I'm doing my pull-downs, I'm doing my rows, I'm doing everything I can, and I'm increasing the weight gradually to get there, and I am really close to being able to do it. And when I can, oh, I can do the, the, the bent arm ones that are cheating, but I mean literally long arm from a hand. Um, I can't wait to be able to do it. And it's just, it's a, it's a slow process. You're just increasing your weight gradually, or in the case of um, crunches and side crunches, you're just increasing your volume and your difficulty very slowly, and then you will be able to do it eventually. Same as the push-up, same as the plank. We're gonna progress from wherever you start. So you pick the ones that you can do, we're going to start on three sets of eight. So you pick a variation, one that you think you can do. So you start with the basic crunch. When you can do three sets of eight of that, next time, three sets of nine. Next time, three sets of 10, then three sets of 11, three sets of 12. Once you can do three sets of 12 of your chosen variation, you then move on. The next time you come to work your core, you move on to the next one. So, from basic crunch, you go to your knees in the air crunch. Eight crunches, minute rest, eight crunches, minute rest, eight crunches. The next time, you move up to nine, next time 10, 11, 12, blah, blah, blah. And then, when you get to the top of the mountain, bicycle crunches, and you can do three sets of 12, just keep on going, 13, 14, 15 get to 50, get to 100. Um, there are obviously a lot of other crunches and core exercises that we can go into. We'll go into that in a, in a future video, but right now we'll stay at bicycle crunches and yeah, they do get harder, sadly, than bicycle crunches. So as always, um, I hope you got something out of that. Um, you're ready to really work your core nice and hard. Um, there, are, there is one more exercise video that we're going to do, that is squats, and then after that, it's challenge time. Um, exciting. So, as always, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you later.